This will be the greatest atmosphere you have ever witnessed in a boxing ring. Here we go. Zapata absolutely relentless. Sonzo Ramirez fought like a Mexican southpaw. Beautiful jab from Hitchens right there. What a great performance. He was just too good. This is a championship fight. This is Charlie Parsons for the Stomping Ground in association with Wow Hydrate and live and exclusive on the zone. Delighted to be joined here, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Just before the press conference, Mr. Francis Ngannou, how are you, sir? I'm good. And you, Charlie? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Um, my first time interviewing you. I know Jim Shark have done a nice little piece. Can you talk us through what you're wearing today? This is this is very cool. Yes, it's a unique uh, design uh, outfit that Jim Shark look. Uh, Made for me with a uh, with an artist called. Ah, what's the name? Can I pan that in? Yeah, I have a difficult. I have a struggle spelling the name. I can see it here, but I can read. Alualia. Very cool. Alualia. Yes. Um, how Jim, Sh Jim Shark always look after me, right? So good. They try. They want me to look good tonight. Good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> Couple of days out from the fight, how are you feeling? Good? I feel pretty good. You know, um, the training is done. We are two days out. Um, basically 48 hours before the fight night. So everything been okay. The training come went well. Um, get focused now uh, on the fight. At what point does it start to get real? Or is it real now? Or is it when you go to the venue? or? When does it all it's real in? already. I think it's been like um, almost uh, since last week. There is a time that you feel that it's real. You feel that that build up your your. You feel that adrenaline a little bit, you know, for a couple of hours. And then it goes away, and then comes back after at some moment, you know. But uh, yeah, it's real. It's real. You know that it's gonna happen. There is nothing that can stop him from hap happen right now. We are here and we are going to fight. Nobody is going to get hurt. Nothing is going to take this fight away. It's going to happen. Anthony Joshua is a man in fine form. What do you make of him as a boxer? He's a man of... In fine form right now. He's in good form. Ah, he's in good form. Well, I think he's in good form, as you said. So, so am I. And uh, that's why we are going to, to make a great fight. Uh, I think he's a great fighter. He's a, he has been a very great champion. Um, respectful. Uh, I have to point that out, but uh, still, I still really want to land my punch on his face. <laughs> <laughs> when we saw you in the build-up to the Tyson Fury fight, a lot of people spoke about your pad work. Now, I saw your pad work at the open workout on Tuesday and some of the vicious shots that you were throwing. Let's just say it looked a lot different to in the build-up for the Fury fight. Okay, so again, what I, what I have to say again about that is uh, the Fury fight was maybe uh, from my last fight was uh, 21 months from my last fight. Okay, and again the part work that that's one reason, and the second one is that the part work is a part work. Sometimes you just like ah okay. I just have to give this. It's, it's, more, it's even more about media. That's what the part work is about. So it's not about like, I could have been out there yesterday and just shadow, yeah, yeah, just yeah. play, just dance if I feel like dancing. You know, I could have just decided to dance or whatever I want, wanted to do. So it's not really like something that we can count on. Okay, okay, we can't take anything from it yeah. then. No, pa makes sense. We can't take anything of from part work. Okay, um, who is a tougher test? Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua? We know how good you looked in the fight with Tyson Fury. Well, I think um, every toughest test is the test that is ahead of you. The one that has passed is already something that is accomplished. You don't stay in something that is accomplished. I would have, the answer would have been different if, he, if this was before the Fury fight. Then he would have been different. But now I had a Fury fight that went well. This one is the, then this one remains a toughest test. Do you feel like you're a better boxer now than when you fought Tyson Fury? 
Yeah, I feel like I'm improving. I'm improving. Uh, I have a huge gap of improvement since this was my that was my first fight and this is my second fight. There's definitely like some improvement. A lot of things that I learned from the first fight. We saw an incredible night last night at Turkey Al Al Sheikh's house. Uh, apparently Tyson Fury said some words to you. Are you able to share the conversation between yourself and Tyson? Uh, nothing really important. I think he was just frustrated about his performance. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, so he was claiming that uh, he, I, I called him a coward. Then I was confused. Like, I never call anybody a coward. He said, then he, uh, I said, uh, why did I say uh, I won the fight? I'm like, I do win the fight. Then he said, why then, then the, your record is 0-1? I'm like, because the judges give it to you. They must be liking you. Something, I don't know. Was he aggressive with you? He can be. He cannot be aggressive with me. He knows how he's going to end up. So I don't worry about that. The only moment that he has a chance, and this is something that I tell him, is in the ring with the boxing, ring, with the boxing rules. That's the only moment that he can have a chance to talk. But we step out of the boxing ring, he can't even hit up to me. Because if I... If I turn up, it's going to be a bad night for him. Turkey Al Al Sheikh, uh, he said to Tyson Fury that the winner of this fight on Friday night, yourself and Anthony Joshua, will fight the winner of the two fights, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Mm -hmm. Is that added motivation, or you have enough going into this? Uh, I think I had a lot, enough motivation already, but definitely that's something that I'm looking forward to. Francis, thank you ever so much for your time. Final message to your fans and prediction ahead of Friday night live on the zone. Oh, the prediction for my prediction is that I'm leaving the, the ring with uh, with the W, with with the win. Message to your fans. Hello, <laughs> Francis. Thank you very much for speaking to us at the stomping ground. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye.